Uh, I think so. Back. Yay! System requirement. Because we're currently Apple shopping guess, for for all you people who might be watching this video later. I'm also looking at specs for League of Legends. Oh, do you want to play it? Well, I'm going to see if my uh, my new laptop will be able to handle it. Which Probably. I Probably. I mean, it is not a very difficult game to run. I think it'll be more down to internet speed. That's what I have it. If you live in the States, you'll be fine when it comes to internet speed. <laughs> I'm getting 5 megabits right now. Where am I? It's it's more of my house, where I'm located in my house. It, it I have four internet. Ah, uh, okay. All right, do this. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but let's do this. All right. Oh. Now, now D and D. There we are. <laughs> now everybody can. See my browser window. Side Hard. Display. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna move over to. Demonetize. Womp womp. So, last we we left off on B and D. Just found out there's a dragon downstairs. However, due to um, one of our players no longer being able to play, one player who can't make it and one who is currently on vacation and probably can't make it to a computer to check. Wait, to wait, to. one player not able to play anymore? No, work thing. Who? Sure. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you ping me. He just says, uh, I need more sleep. <laughs> so I, I mean, I can respect that. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I just, it's understandable. It, I uh, thought it's like, so he's not going to be part of the group no more? Uh, the way you made that sound like he's not part of the group anymore. Um, as far as, I, I don't know if he, he's left or not. I told, I offered, says, hey, if you're able to to play again, just ping me, so, and then you should feel free to ping me if you, when you come back, want to come back. I just want to be prepared for him to come back, that's all. So yeah. But, either way, there's only two of us here, so... Yeah. So we got a dragonborn and a baby dragon. Or a mini dragon. Mini dragon. He's a little baby dragon. <laughs> I just pick him up, no problem. <laughs> you do that anyways. <laughs> but he got, he got, he got bigger. Yeah. So you I, I still pick him up. He probably weighs just like a couple pounds more, maybe. Oh, I thought that's like he got like significantly. I know he's still small, but you said he's like small, close to medium. So I thought he got like bigger. Yeah, but you could probably still lift up a medium creature. Maybe not like oh super high or anything, but oh, I know that. I was like, that's what I was like. I have no issue with here. I'm almost maxed out strength. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Just sling Cyrus <laughs> over your shoulder. If anything, like big old, big old cat. You know, Krebus <laughs> would be able to do it like nothing. <laughs> you know, it's the 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 way people are. So we're going to flash forward. I know, right? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? We're we're going to flash forward. To a, a possible future. Maybe it will be your future. You've got done slaying a dragon. You feel like you've leveled up. And you get home to the Iron Bear. Drop by the Iron Bear. Because, of course, 
Grave wants to see Krebus. Yeah, whenever I get a chance. See the hubby. Mm -hmm. Be a good adventurer. Does, uh, but still maintain a family. Yeah. And Kel uh, informs you that uh, Krebus isn't there. Oh! <gasps> Should you say where he was off to? Um, well, he was t talking to this copper dragonborn and uh, it looked like some sort of serious discussion which usually when he's doing his little cleric thingy that it's it's that type of discussion or something and, and they, they they just uh, uh, he said he would he would be back uh, uh, in a few hours and he, and he left Interesting. You didn't leave a note or anything. Well, we we didn't know when you guys be, would be getting back, so. Not as. Side note: Do we level up? You just we just stay. Mm. I don't think we will need to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not for this time, <laughs> but. <laughs> This is a possible future in any case. So I'm assuming that you were planning on taking first a level, level in a different class, right? Yeah, I'll be taking my first level in Barbarian. Cool. Kind of what I was I was working with. <laughs> More than likely, it's going to be like 11. Total is going to be like, if we get to 20, it's going to be 11 levels in Paladin, 9 levels in... Barbarian, so I get that improved smite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he said the the copper dragonborn's name was like a uh, Leon. That, that is that, weird, that, holy that, symbol. That, Never seen it. Before. Was it a big? Kind of just like a big eye. Well, well, it was like a circle, which looks like it had like a like red and gold and blue and silver and white and black uh, colors it's like all all the colors like dragonborn wears would be mm -hmm. and, and then there would look like something that looked kind of like an eye in the in the center of it that's actually very helpful thank you uh, so we'll go ahead and head out and head to the eye of io's headquarters and Sounds good. So, who they were? And just uh, to to be a thematic. Here we are. There's the headquarters. Uh, you you head on in, and uh, I, you see uh, Sylvia and Jordan, the the orc, uh, the Asmar and the orc. Uh, uh, chatting the front, uh, front lobby, and they see you come in. Says, oh, you've returned. Oh, um, Leon is out by the shore, uh, with the uh, uh, white dragon. Warrior. I think they said his name was Krebus. Those are exactly the people we were looking for. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and head that way. Yeah, you said head out, and this is like. There's a little bit of woods, and then you take a mm -hmm. path which leads to like shore, which has uh, a few more, uh, more of like a beachside training ground thing. You see um, this uh, br uh, bronze dragonborn uh, who has a tail. Um, he's he's uh, he he's on on a dock. And he's doing a little some stretchings, and he he like jumps right on in and just kind of like disappears under the water. And uh, sitting sitting on the beach, uh, you right next to each other uh, is uh, Leon and Krebus. Just kind of. So, like do just like a casual walk and call out to so they know that we're here hello uh, he, uh Leon turns and says, says 
It uh, looks like your husband has has returned. And uh, Krebus stands up and you notice around his neck his symbol of helm is no longer there. This holy symbol is now the symbol of Io. Honey, what's going on oh. with this? Well, uh, I've been having... I've been having some long talks with um, um, Leon here. Like he he's been stopping by on occasion, just checking to see if he got back. Um, he usually stops by, has a drink or two, uh, you know, tips some gold. He's a really good customer in and of itself. I think he's just you know keeping an eye out for you guys. So and 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 we got to talking and and well. I suppose you could say you're converted, but it's kind of like one of those things where it's like Helm and Io kind of are on the same page-ish sort of thing. And and it's just being like more dragony. Seems more <laughs> like Well, I'm Dragonborn. Just seem to fit. I just this is just surprising to hear from you. That you are changing the hub. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I, I did talk talk to the, the clerics film as well, and they were just like, like you know what? Follow what path you believe in, as long as it's a good path. Don't do bad things, yes. you know that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And so I here I am. A, Clarion of Io, the only one in all of Faerun. Of Faerun. There's some, as you see, the Eye of Io are here, and there's a cleric inside them. You are of Faerun. Well, Tech. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, mean, I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> what I was saying. It was just like, this, I'm from here, they're from, they're from the Io drawn in thing. Did you, did you know... Leon told me that the Iodrone was actually created the same time that Bahamut and Tiamat were created. I did not know that. I mean, it, it was kind of a process because apparently the core of Io or, or Iodrone is Io himself. It's like his whole soul. Like after he was injured and, and 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 chopped in half or whatever happened that caused the split which created Bahamut and Tiamat. It went off on its own corner of the, uh, the multiverse and like created a world around it kind of like an egg. You could say that that Ow drone huh? is it it has a world soul. Has, the world has its own soul. That that is interesting. Something. Yes. And, and I mean, he he kind of goes along the lines of he's kind of like the, the pure neutral sort of thing, like you know how Bahamut's really good and Tiamat's really evil and stuff. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, he's like that 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 balance, right in between. Yes. There, there is a time for life. There is a time for death. And there is just that that balance between the two. You can't, you can't be too much lie, and you can't be too chaotic. -y. Just true neutral. I know in that balance, which seems very much me. That it does. If this is the path that you believe you need to take behind you. Yes. All right. My, my back is a little itchy. Let me get that. Yeah, you, you go back there and there's these <laughs> like little nubs that are kind of poking up from the back. Honey, uh, I'll go ahead and just be like, honey, Hello? you... You are starting to grow wings? Uh-huh. 
Uh, Leon actually gives a chuckle. Is this what it is what to become a, clear, uh, a follower of Io? All right, all, right, all I know is my badge is kind of scratchy. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. It, Leon leads it leans over over next to your and yes, they're going to be wings. I was hoping to have that more of a surprise. <laughs> Hello? No. There. Okay, sorry. I went really, really quiet, so it was like, oh. oh. Yeah. I was saying like, my internet. In between you were, yeah, in between you say, like whispering what you were saying to Krebus, like I heard like getting, and I heard the end. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was like, all of a sudden I cut out, I'm like, wait a minute, what? Hey, Leon was say, whispered to you that he was, he, he was uh, hoping that would be a surprise. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. It, it's nothing, hun. And I just go ahead. <laughs> just scratch. Just scratch. <laughs> he said it itches. He said it itches. So I'm just gonna scratch the back of it. Uh, like where it itches. Uh, he, he flexes and it, that those little nubs. Yeah, they're they're definitely gonna be wings. <laughs> It, 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 it it's probably going to be a li- just a little bit of a, pro- a process. So they're going to be like, like these like really tiny wings at some point in time, it's not moving him at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then eventually they'll probably be these nice big wings that, that will probably be able to carry his 430 pound bulk. Okay. Like to Side note, like, I'm over. super jealous of cream. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because when t- uh, showed me this uh, sub race he made, I'm like, oh my god, if, Cri- if I could have had this when we started, Crib would be this. <laughs> oh my god. I was, like, I was just like, god dang it! <laughs> yeah, like the uh, bronze dragonborn, which has a tail. Uh, uh, that tail actually allow- it gives him his swim speed. Uh, oh, and cool. And he's amphibious. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I saw this. I'm like, oh, I want this. God dang it. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, and, then, and then the second campaign, no homebrew. I'm like. <laughs> and I was like, dang it. This is, that's a pure in favor and. Uh, uh, in favor and stuff. So, <laughs> well, the other one's a tearing too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, the limits. So anyway. <laughs> and, and I'm allowing yeah. like like there there was like one homebrew item, uh, but that was just because of some of the heroic chronicle stuff. I yeah. just need to, to slightly homebrew Ooh. stuff. What did hubby deliver? Uh, chicken chili. You should, say, you, say, you should say thank you to Creepus. <laughs> thank you, Dapper John. Okay. Uh, he loaded so, it with cheese. So, uh, I, I I was also talking to Leon here about about how you wanted to to, to become a playerian. Yes. But but you have the problem here. Bing bing. He flicks your yeah. your armor. Uh, yeah, uh, that that's an issue. Yeah, I was talking to Rourke and and he's like, armor. <laughs> we, we both had a laugh. <laughs> yeah, it were, but but I I knew you you're, you're very much into the, to this whole like, you know, the, the, there's just something about. About like paladin and armor sort of thing, and, and so I was asking Leon to discuss it with him. Is there any way that we could, or or if he knew anything about this? Because and Leon says yes. The, the battle plate of the metallics is from Iodron. Yes. However, from my understanding in regards to the artifact. 
Right now, it is currently in its dormant state. This is true. Awakening it will not get to what we're looking for. Being able to still use it, but still be able to dig into this barbarian rage. Over the last few days, I have consulted with everyone here. Uh, Jorn has even gone through some of the ancient of what texts he's aware of. Um, and he says it's the only real way that we can see if there's any way to possibly even modify the making this would or this would be to actually go to Iodron and visit with the Celestial Dragons. Which, by the way, while they have reverence for Io, they are servants of Bahamut. That's awkward. Well, would I be a paladin of Bahamut? Well, which I think would be, be also a... a a, Beneficial a thing boom for, for us. In fact, the Battle Play of the Metallics was, was made for a champion of Bahamut back in at the time of the, the Divine Wars. But we'll have to go to an entirely different world in order to, to do that, and I'm not exactly sure how long it will take. Or if it would be even, even be done. Um, if you would like, um, I would actually think I would want to bring Jorn along because he's the one who would probably be able to get us into um, the alcove of the Celestials. The... I, I would... I have grown a uh, fondness for this armor. It has seen me through many of troubling times since I've received it. I, I mean, it, it totally suits you. I think I think right. it's just look, it, I prefer you out of it, but it looks good. Oh yeah, it looks just. Le Leon looks at you and kind of like, <laughs> he he gives you the the scan of eye and he turns to Grievous and says, "I think he would look good without it too." Goodness! Only only one person gets to see that. And that's Batman pointing to Krebus. <laughs> <laughs> Man's like, I'm just taking in the view. Oh, oh my god, it, they are it, thirsty you for you. Holy moly. You blame them? <laughs> 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 look, look, he, he, like, gotta... look at him. Look, he's Crazy in the shit. <laughs> He's in a loving relationship with the moon, and he's not, it's like, he, he, he just, I mean, he still got eyes, you know, I, you've seen me plenty yeah. of times scoping out other people, right? It's always okay to look, just not touch. Exactly. We're, we're all on the same page here. Yes. Are we, though? <laughs> I don't know, that, that comes across as being not on the same page. <laughs> Cyrus is just going back, just looking like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, like, something is not adding up right here. Crave's just flexing and all this stuff, and just like, uh, he's feeling himself. Let me feel that <laughs> out. <laughs> I had to say it. I, love it. I had to. <laughs> uh, I am... I'm up for this event. I have been curious about this Iodron since hearing about it. I am very. Excuse me. Um, I am up for the adventure. Yeah. Well, then I. Cyrus, what do you think? The... Would you like to come along, little one? Cyrus? Did we lose you? Where'd you go? Did your headset die? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Did you mute your headset and not realize it? Bark twice if you're in Milwaukee. Where, oh, where did the Cyrus go? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Did you ping him? I did. You didn't, I'm going to. All right. So well, well, while we're, we're uh, uh, waiting on, on Cyrus' response, I'm assuming that he's coming along. Otherwise, probably wouldn't yeah. be uh, fun being just the Curve Show. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, he gets uh, the orc, Jorn, um, who's brown he's a brown orc which uh, most of the orcs that you would have seen it happened like gray some of them have more of a greenish tint uh to them this one is brown this is like some almost like might have been like s some from the hello group. oh you're back there he is okay oh my god i've been like talking and it's like I guess my headset muted itself, but it wasn't muted. I don't know. <laughs> Big wonky. Just like, we're just like, what, what, what happened? Uh, uh, Cyrus just suddenly loses the ability to talk. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shit, not again. Thank you to himself. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't activate magical items that have a command word! <laughs> All right, I am back. I am listening. All right. Did you want to go away? Yes. Going to I. Reassumed, yeah. Reassumed, yes. But like, that. Yeah. C confirm. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be the consent curb show. Is and that's just no fun. <laughs> consent is our foreplay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> T-shirt available at sizzle.com slash comes out loud. Ding. Consent <laughs> is our foreplay. <laughs> Wink. Yeah. Did you did you know we have sh have shirts that say that? Yes, I did. I have one. <gasps> I have one too. Wait one moment. One mine's moment. A, mine's a tank top. <laughs> Yours is a sleeveless because they were out of tank tops. <laughs> See? Nice bare one. Yes. Woof. They're awesome. We have pup ones and drag ones and trans ones and leather ones. I love the that. leather ones. The leather leather ones are leather pride flag themed, not actual leather. Just just say, they don't offer that. Disclaimer. <laughs> 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 little disclaimer. The leather ones are actually le made of leather. <laughs> that costs way too much. Yeah, Dazzle would never never do that. Anyways, moving on. Shameless plug. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shameless plug. So, so you guys go go find Jorn and uh, get together. Uh, Frederica uh, uh, and um, so to tell you what would have happened if we were actually doing this thing um, before like right after you said a dragon's downstairs. Uh, you hear you hear a voice uh, from behind you, you you guys of this this uh, elfish looking man with long like pink hair uh, and just in this kind of uh, uh, green cloak uh, say something. It's like oh, a dragon. Excuse me, I need him. 
and he uh, uh, grabs uh, Chior, and they disappear in a puff of leaves. Oh, me too. I that would be like the best superpower if you could just disappear in a puff of leaves. Like, is the situation getting awkward? Poof! Someone asks you to do something you don't want. Poof! 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 Ba- basically, his archfey patron uh, showed up and uh, uh, took him away somewhere. Gave him a big old yoink. That, that's <laughs> going to explain why he disappeared. Um, archfey was like, I'm capitalizing on this favor you owe me. <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, if you, as you look around, you can see in one of the train train areas, you can see uh, Gizly and uh, Bamoon are going at it. Bamoon, not like not, Bamoon, uh, Leon's husband, the paladin, B A H U U M, B A B A H M. U-U-M. Ooh, I like I'm that. literally writing down all the members of the, like, so I remember all the different members. I, I'll get you a screenshot. Um, That'd be great. Of, like, just a list of them. <laughs> yeah, it's basically <laughs> all of the, the versions of them I created on D&D Beyond. <laughs> uh, it, it, I mean, you fought them. Yeah. So, before... Uh, so it, they're in the training yard going at it, and by going at it, I mean they are they are sparring. <laughs> Just to be clear, <laughs> so they're they're basically training. brown chicken brown cow. Um, apparently, uh, Herrock, uh, the H A R R O K, the uh, Silver Dragonborn Ranger, uh, who you met back in Greenest, as he pa- cast Pass Around Trades to help you guys sneak off with the um, people you were smuggling out of the Temple of Chantia. Um, talking about dragons and the care of dragons. And you you eventually come across uh, Sylvia and uh, Jordan, which were were still discussing something. And Leon says, "Jordan, uh, I need we need you. Um, we're going to be uh, heading back to I.O. John. We need to speak to Devosa." He says, "Oh, oh." Yeah, I can get you in, but when you need to get me back, I don't know, but that how to plane shift. That's what I'm here for. We're bringing these two, Krebus, uh, you and me. And he says, all right. And he says, all right, everybody hold hands. We hold hands. I put my claw, my claw hand up <laughs> to to grip. You just like get on your high. You just get on your hind legs. Just I'm just stretching really <laughs> tall. <laughs> it's like normal person, normal it, person, normal person, and then Kriv like has to do like this awkward like half like, lean like, over. Like, <laughs> Leon looks. Leon looks down. Uh, looks down at you and says, "You you just need to be touching. You don't have to actually hold hands. So if you want to like get get on uh, Krebus's sur- shoulder, he's the the." Uh, Cyrus will angrily him. hold Kriv's hand. <laughs> I've already demeaned like, myself to touching the ground. We're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we have started this. We're finishing it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man's like, oh, okay. Uh, so I'm holding on to Cyrus and Kriv. Uh, Leon speaks in incantation uh, and with his free hand because he's at the end. It's like him, Jordan, Krebus, uh, Kriv, Cyrus. Cyrus. He uh, uh, strikes um, he strikes a tuning fork uh, against his, his chest. And uh, you all vanish. 
you in this the you go from this environment which is like near the ocean temperate climate into the middle of a desert Oh, um, tries not to throw up. Uh, roll me a constitution check. Or a save. Can I do the same? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm an ice oh, dragon. Just... I don't like these things. We just shift a uh, plane shift. It, it's... Okay. <laughs> Cra- Craven, you're like... <sighs> <sighs> Craven, Craven, Craven looks at you like... Oh. And then, but but then looks down at Cyrus, and Cyrus's eyes are like bulging. <laughs> Keep in mind, he is on now a separate plane from his Our person. Own world. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so that's why it makes sense. <laughs> I just picture like Cyrus throwing up like a cat. Just. <laughs> 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 Service is like <laughs> He just wretches out a furball. Uh it is it is quite warm. Uh, uh, uh Jordan uh looks around at uh, actually he quickly pulls out in his bag uh, and he hands uh, uh Kribis and Kriv uh, a pair of goggles. He searches uh, around and uh, pulls out a rather small size goggles and, and he uh, hands them to Cyrus. And they are perfect. They're just smaller than a Cyrus side, but as you like put them towards your eyes, they like grow a little bit to fit. And they seem to be perfectly shaped for a pseudo dragon. <laughs> it's like these? they knew. <laughs> um, you uh, see Jorn's pseudo dragon uh, quickly duck into his robes. Oh. And you're like, oh, I can't get those goggles. And he pulls out a set for uh, Leon oh. and himself and he puts it over and he says, give it a second. And then all of a sudden, it's like, without warning, the it's the sandstorm starts blowing. Oh Lord! And oh, says, don't worry. I know where we are. We're very close. It's only take us a couple minutes to get there. Follow me. Stay close. Krabus <laughs> uh, 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 turns to you, Cyrus. Hey, hey, do, do you want to like get on my back? Uh, no, and hold on. Uh, your your wings might get caught in this wind. Sure, I'll do that. Okay. You tuckle it in, and uh, as you kind of grip, you, it's like there's these two nubs on his back, which kind of like just frame you. So it's almost like it stabilizes <laughs> your position. Ah, I love it. Weird, right? <laughs> Um, after a couple minutes to stay in the room, you see kind of this, uh, uh, rock cliff and there is a, uh, uh, cave and you, you enter it. And as you enter, just kind of like, as soon as you cross the threshold from being outside the cave into the inside of the cave, there's no more wind. Everything is still peaceful. Not as dry. What? And it's and, and the temperature's at a very nice temperature. You're not hot hot, you're not cold. It's just very comfortable. Environmental control. Very nice. I mean, the, the the wind wall out there is uh, uh, pretty much for her for protecting the cave. Honestly, if you didn't actually, if you couldn't sense the actual direction of the 
open your like this, and if the Versa didn't want you to, you would not be able to find this cave. You would get completely lost. That, that, right. that is some good security. Yeah, she would probably steer you to get out and leave, but you would not find find here. Uh, you walk down uh, a little ways down the hall. Uh, Jordan takes the goggles back from you. He says, hopefully we won't be need we probably won't be needing these because we'll be able to return from here. And you you and you run across a wall with a door with a mural wrapping around it which uh, looks like various it's in brass and it's um, got the designs of various dragons uh, which look to be like protecting people and there's lots of motifs of kind of like that uh, Saharan uh, uh, Arabian Nights-esque looks to it uh, you see kind of like a, a, a an Agrabah-esque cityscape in one of the the ports of the mural uh, and uh, along the top you see this long sinuous dragon which doesn't have any wings but you can definitely tell that it's just like you know like cloud serpents in WoW or or, or the, like the Chinese serpent dragons yeah um, or if you've seen uh, or, or like the uh, dragon sword from from uh, the second season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or Die Ranger if you want to go with the true ver original version. <laughs> it's that type of dragon when you're, we're referring to a dragon. And it's just cool. along, along the the top. Jordan says, says uh, just so, so you know, they look kind of like that one. And he's pointing dire directly to that uh, sinuous that long dragon okay. they're not very common for dragon types uh, not even the most ancient that uh, dragons that I have seen um, have evolved into that uh, all we've seen of those types are are ones that are celestial dragons and uh, that's amazing <sighs> give me a moment he puts his hand on the door and he starts speaking something which Kriv you know that it's ancient draconic but this is draconic from even before you it's like the original draconic form yeah like yeah, I'll be this... able to catch like words here and there but yeah he, but it's like uh, uh it seems to be like he's meditating uh, and, and asking for entrance um, to someone. You do hear the word Devosa. I, I I repeat all this to Cyrus and Grievous. Okay. Uh, and it's really old. I can't even understand like. <clears throat> I get, like every of the other words. Word. I get every other word. I get every other word. Comprehend languages. From... <laughs> as, <laughs> as you are canceling, uh, uh, casting comprehend languages, uh, there's a uh, this this uh, mechanical sound uh, that happens as if there's locks unlocking on the door. And the door just kind of like shifts to the side. It was my comprehend languages. It was the key. <laughs> For those who seek to understand, they are allowed to pass. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> uh, uh, just okay. No, no, no. Cruz <laughs> is like, just, just calm down. Uh, no, Jordan, no. Jordan looks back at Cyrus's. Uh, 
No, I just asked for her if, if we could enter to told her what was was going on and Comprehend she said, sure, languages sure is the key. let me open the door <laughs> and she opened the door for us. Yeah, Comprehend sorry, languages. Sorry. Sorry, it's just no. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Shh. You can't trust me, I'm baby. You, I know. <laughs> and that's why I am trying to help you so much. I'm trying to be so nice about this and all. No. There we go. Yeah. My camera's working now. Yeah, there we go. go. And uh, just like, <laughs> like that's why I'm just, I'm actually not trying to like just shut you down like a little with other people. I've tried to just like, oh it's okay, it's okay. You did great. Yes, it was the <laughs> and, 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 and Leon goes, yes, the Compton languages spell was the key. And he just kind of like does this. <laughs> I just like it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like it. He is eating Cyrus to shut up. Just, just, it's just like, just go with it. Just go with it. Krebus is like, wow, that's amazing. Just a simple spell. And he starts walking. <laughs> You, you walk through the door and you're walking into just pure, like, you can't see anything beyond the door. It's just a blackness. And um, you see, you walk it, you walk into the blackness and uh, it almost feels like you've moved much farther than at, than just taking this step. You know how, <laughs> like in, in Stargate, they step into, uh, through the event horizon, then, uh, but it doesn't actually travel you until after you've stepped all the way through, and then it mm -hmm. spits you out? Kind of like that, yeah. even though it's kind of like, like this, but it's like you step in, and then you step out, even though there's, well, there's billions of miles between the two. It's kind of like that. Except you yep. don't have the, the, the whole rush and like <gasps> cold. It's just you, you just go into blackness and then the next thing you know you're stepping out of it as if you were still taking that same step. Awesome. And uh, before you are in this you have a giant cavern with some braziers a kind of a a big stone area like clearing like there's nothing really there uh looking down on the ground there there really isn't anything um you uh see uh five platforms five yeah five platforms of um which have like some sort of symbols uh, etched on them in different metallic types. Cool. So in the center you have a, um, and it's higher than the others, is one that's in gold. Uh, you have silver to its left, uh, copper to its right, uh, brass to the far left, and... Um, Which one am I missing here? And bronze on the uh, far right. And as you step closer, you realize they're a lot further up there than you thought. There's this... They are gigantic. Like, anybody who would be resting on these platforms would have to be a just gigantic <laughs> the huge like it's it, it, like enormous I, I, I don't gargantuan i think is the actual D, &D size mm -hmm. uh it, and they seem to actually be further out it's like this weird perspective thing where somebody sitting on there might look like they're a regular like maybe maybe a huge or, or large or huge size, but they would actually be much, much larger. Like, uh, like the Statue of David. 
mm-hmm. like how it is. Like it, actually, if you look at it, like everything is actually different proportion because it's made to be looked from far away to look. You know. Fun fact. Yeah, weird. It's a weird perspective search thing. And uh, Jordan, Jordan goes, uh, uh, steps forward and goes, Devosa, we are here for an audience with you and your brethren. And uh, you hear a voice in, in the back are, are come out of, like, come from every, seems to be echoing from everywhere, clear as a bell. You say, we have come, my child. And um, you s- suddenly see in the, the blackness up in the, what you would assume that there's a ceiling, but you can't see that far. You see these like sinuous beings swirling around, round above and uh, slowly come down. One of them comes down and goes to the far, <coughs> far left one is this giant bronze dragon uh, coming down the opposite direction from the left going over to the right right is a bronze one a silver one comes in from the right to the middle one on the left side a Brett a copper one comes down from the uh, uh, to to just the right of center and then coming coming down swirling around and landing gracefully in the center is a gold one we have come what do you ask says the the bronze one uh first if you don't mind i would like to introduce our guests here uh, you know Leon, of course. The gold one goes, yes, we know of him. Uh, from the planet of Toro, uh, uh, we have uh, Krivis del Mirev, Kriv Nyquil, and Cyrus. Uh, mm. Just like bow down in front of them, like, just, oh my god, just, <laughs> senpai. Krebus uh, is kind of having that nervous look and says, uh, pleased to meet you. And, uh... It's an honor. Hello! Uh, you, you hear a chuckle from the silver one. Um. <laughs> just, just, uh. <laughs> uh, let, let me present to you we have my patron Devosa and he points to the brass one uh, s- this is Sibris who is the silver one the gold one is Eberon we have we have Cobron his brother who is the copper one and the brass one is a Kosa and uh, Kosa goes hi welcome <laughs> what about the silver one? What's his name? Sybaris. Sybaris, cool. Uh, <laughs> by the way, those people who may notice, I've stolen Sybaris and Eberron from the Eberron campaign setting. <laughs> 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 However, they're actually alive, and Eberron isn't actually a planet right now. He is just a, a celestial dragon. <laughs> Woohoo! Different. Different Eberons. Same name, different Eberons. <laughs> <laughs> this one's gold, that one's silver, etc. There is no Kyber. Kyber is a different pantheon of celestial dragons. <laughs> um, the uh, gold one, Eberon says, Huh, I see you have someone who has taken up the mantle of the metallics. Kriv, I suppose they said your name was? Yes. Sir. Yes. He like, just like, like, I'm like is not just even like, excitedly, like, vibrating. He's just like, oh my god! It's like, not even aware that he's doing it. He's just like, puffing up, like, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he 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 actually uh, leaps off and floats down uh, across the gap, and he start he moves his head really close to you. Like he's probably like ten feet away, but like. like- you're just a little bit lar- larger than one of his nostrils. And, and he goes, sniff. Oh, great. <laughs> you-, <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> you see Kara just go, eh, I get pulled a little forward. He, he, pulls, he pulls back and says, what an odd form you have taken. Why do you not show yourself? It is not one that I chose. <gasps> Past deeds have caused Muhammad to cast me into this form. <gasps> Why would Drama. he do such a thing? I've never heard such a thing. It's kind of blasphemous. And Sebris goes, no, 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 no. This is, this is one of his guardians from Toro. You know how he is with them. Uh, I suppose they have been unruly. In any case, uh, I do see that this is an appropriate armor for you. Very interesting that that you chose blue. Uh, he probably didn't choose this. This is all the silver one, like correcting <laughs> the, the gold one. He's like, I love it. Apparently, this it's like. You get the impression that Eberron is kind of supposed to be like the wise older one, and Sybaris is just the the slightly younger, much smaller no one. All. Like yeah, <laughs> Cyrus, you, you and you and Sybaris, you probably be best buddies. Oh yeah, I'm already thinking that. It's like I really <laughs> like <you>. yeah. Sybaris, um, <laughs> yeah. like I can tell Sybaris is a girl. Sybaris is a guy. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was just—I'm like, trying to tell by the voice. Like, yeah, it, sometimes hard, hard to do. It, he, he's yeah, so, yeah, it, it, yeah. Devosa and Aquosa are the females, and the other three are the males. So he, this, uh, this I just like of, still just like like pops up but, like he he is correct. I did not choose this form. Any aspect of it. I no. do want to uh, like make it very ex- expressively clear that Cyrus is like the equivalent of like a very excited puppy dog right now. Like he's just like <laughs> he's loving this. <laughs> like he's just, I like, just see him just like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's like when uh, like a puppy is wagging just... their tail <laughs> with the wagging their tail so hard that they don't realize it, but it's like actually throwing them off. <laughs> that that's that's Cyrus right now. He's just like. So yeah, excited. So, yeah, so uh, uh, Eberron moves back uh, uh, to his pedestal. They kind of like, you know, kind of kind of curl up just a little bit uh, on their their hind legs to, to, to kind of sit and, and display themselves. It's like... Uh, and uh, the... <laughs> the... I'm just a fan of dragons a little bit. The, the copper <laughs> one goes. This whole this whole company is right now like all three of us are <laughs> big fan of track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the copper one says. In any case, why have you called us? We got a lot to do. Copper one seems to be the on- ornery sort of one. And Jordan's uh, Leon says. We were hoping you would be able to help us out in regards to the battle plate of metallics. Um, our friend here wants to take a little bit of the path of the barbarian. Uh, yeah, it, yes, yes, sir. And and uh, the, 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 this whole armor thing just doesn't really work when it comes like like barbarianish stuff. And 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 if, if there's any way we could like modify it a little because I don't know about you but this is very much Griv this is very much mirror shock and, and, and in order to help out because uh, 
apparently some scheme in regards to to Tiamat is happening uh, over in our world, and it would really, really help if you could use this and maybe even awaken the armor in a different type of state than it would have been. And, and you've never seen Crib with this face. It's like he's in this pleading face. He That's looks like, like this, like, like he's like pouring on the puppy dog eyes. <laughs> he doesn't even do this to me. Also, I'm wrapped around his finger. So. Yeah, yeah, he's, he already has it wrapped around his finger. Um, <laughs> Uh, and and he he's pleading and looking at it, and he's he's stepping forward, and uh, Eberron crosses his uh, uh, arms and and goes, "I see you have taken up with Io as well." I mean, but that's me. I mean, Io was the progenitor of Bahamut. I know there may is some animosity between the two. I mean, I've seen how you looked at Leon, the avatar of Io. But I did know from the first, even after I met Kriv and talked to him and talked to people about Muhammad, it's just not my path. I think he's still a great guy. It's just not my path. And I believe my path is with Io. And, I mean, you have a servant who is along with the eyes of Io. So, why couldn't the two get along? I mean, you both don't want Tiamat to be coming into this world. And immediately, uh, Eberron says, Tiamat cannot, <laughs> nor can our lord Bahamut. Are you not aware of the veil? And Kermis goes, no, I don't mean this world. I mean, the one we're from. Because there's a scheme that that may happen. And Eberron and, uh, looks over at uh, 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 Sybaris, who looks back at him. And they just kind of like, the, the, the five are like startled about what's happening. And he goes, I, I, I and and Kriv, he's my husband, and and he he says he's going to be helping to to make sure that don't happen. Please. It is my mission to stop them from this happening. Okay? At all costs, I will do whatever I can for stopping TMO. Okay, I am one hundred percent coherent now. Okay, <laughs> my my roommates are ordering a uh, skip for dinner, okay. so it was my turn to order. Okay. Um, he says, "We cannot help you." Says Evron. Uh, you you see Cormoran given give kind of like this look uh, towards Eberron's wake. But and then Sibir says no, 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 no. Eberron is correct. We cannot help you. The makers of the armor can. Jordan, you, you see Jordan kind of like give a strange look up to him and says but I thought I thought you were the crafters of the armor I mean it's called the battle plates of the metallics and you're well metallic uh, no in fact we did not they were actually crafted for us by the gems the what? The gems. Gem. The gem dragons. Those exist? <laughs> like, even, like, just... Kriv's like, the what? 
Cyrus is like furiously <laughs> sketching all of the dragons too for his notebook. Uh, like uh, uh, Jordan uh, tur- turns around and says, "says uh, From my understanding, they uh, they have been very rare and few and far between ever seen on Toral, but there have been a few here on Iodron. However, they also haven't been seen in many millennia. I mean." The armor has been around for a lot longer than that. Just, just like looks down like. And, uh, and uh, uh, Devosa says, "This is true. We have actually we actually have commissioned them from the gems. However, they are currently locked away." Why? That seems mean. Of their own volition. Okay. Um, they have, over the centuries, at times have to take a long rest. I feel that. I have to do that sometimes when I cast a really big spell, too. No, no. You don't understand. They look- I have to sleep for, like, two days <laughs> to get all my energy back. Cyrus, they Cyrus, have to sleep. Cyrus. They have to sleep for five hundred years. <gasps> I've been alive for four. <laughs> Cyrus, 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 let's just let, let's let the dragon speak. Uh, you, you see, Sir Thank like, you. I like this one. Very curious. <laughs> just, uh, you just see. Very curious. <laughs> <laughs> Very curious. <laughs> we we will need the help of Amethesto, a many, Safarina, Tapi uh, Tapi Bulu, Chris, and Obsalan. These are they, these are made up. Yeah, I totally just like made up names. <laughs> ten out of uh, ten made up names, though. I, 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 yeah. Although I, 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 I will give you a cookie if you recognize uh, what one of them is very, very, very close. What game uh, one of them is very, very close to? Sam again. Uh, Amethesto. Ameni. Safarina. Tapi Bulu. Chris and Absalom. A couple of the names sounded like sort of familiar. Although I do, I do have to say, I, I, I just realized that one of them is literally from World of Warcraft. But uh, I, I was going to say uh, World of Warcraft. But, but let, let me let me put him in chat so you can see him, see them. And it will kind of make have... more sense with it, with seeing what gem that they they're representing. I was doing this for organizational purposes, <laughs> and so I would remember them. Safi, so the, that sounds familiar. I, I was just really? using, that's her that's her nickname. <laughs> Although Toby Bulu sounds like it's either like Toby Bulu or Safarina because like. Honestly, when I heard Sephirina, I'm just like, Sephira. <laughs> Not intentional if that was the case. No. Uh, have, <laughs> I, have you ever heard of Tapu Bulu? Yes. Is that it's Pokemon? Like, it's, it's still... Yep. <laughs> yes! Do I, can I get inspiration for that? You don't ever give out inspiration. I, that was really good. No, he has it in a I long gave you too time. Many he hits. did. He 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 has it. It hasn't been for a very long time since I was in. Uh, we were in the dragon hatchery, and they gave me one for hatching. They commit to the hatching. Uh, they uh, is traditional, but when they do have to have to sleep in their gems, because they are literally. In a gem, 
of their type. So there's Shaven universe. <laughs> <laughs> no, different types of gems. And, and we it, are it, the crystal gem. If you if you do Green look up fire and if, lightning. If you do look up the background for gem dragons, they have been known to uh, inhabit actual gems. So there's That's an true. amethyst, an emerald, a sapphire crystal, a Indian gem that needs to be found that contains these dragons. Will we be able to tell? I'm guessing they give oh, off something. They're, they're relatively easy to find, but to actually get to them to wake them up can be a puzzle. I mean, they can get out any time they want to, but they're sleeping. They they don't mind being woken up. It just means that it ends up they, when they have to go back. They'll have to go back as soon as they can, so they can make up for lost time. But other than that. It it doesn't do anything negative, but we need to talk to them. Uh, they do keep themselves in t- uh, the crystal ca- the crystal caverns. And don't get me wrong, they are not made of crystal. It's not even quite a cavern. It is more is like, it like some a sort cave? of dungeon with a maze, and there's a puzzle. To actually unlock the chest that they had been placed in, they came up with them. I didn't even, we didn't even have any say into it. But hey, it's for their own security. We like puzzles, don't we, Cyrus? Yes, we do. And I hope you guys did not memorize Tasha's cauldron of everything. I'm just saying. Nope. Good. Nope. So that's too much to remember. <laughs> Before we leave, Mr. Silver Dragon. Yes, Master Cyrus. How do I open my book? It's asleep. How do I make it awake? <laughs> I'm watching these magic items from far across the land in power for no reason at all. And I keep putting spells in my book. And it's still asleep. Hmm. Maybe in a... I'm not familiar with this book. And he, he wiggles his fingers a little bit. Oh. I see. This is from Alexandria. I have no clue about any of those. I haven't done any studying <laughs> for one of the planes. <laughs> and it's worth a try. Yeah, and I, <laughs> these type of artifacts have been known to awaken in different ways. And some, uh, some, the same exact ones will awaken for different people different ways. So who knows? We, we thank you for this information. Great job. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bring them back here. We would like to see our friends again. We, we and, shall. And plus, we will have, have some resources that they'll probably need. Specialized tools, that sort of thing. Of course. Is, it doesn't seem uh, like they have something because it's this big, grand so, sort of cavern. But they seem to be implying that not everything here is as it seems. Um, one thing I may ask is this crystal cavern, this cavern or crystal. Um, it's just called is this crystal hard? caverns. I, yeah. <laughs> I just want to say that's not a crystal. That's not crystal or not cavern. I just want to say it. <laughs> um, do or. Or I should actually also ask Leon and Joran, like, do we know where this is located? Uh, of course, says, oh, I know where they are. <laughs> I, can take, I, I can send you there. Don't worry about it. That would be fun. Yeah. We, again, thank you for all this and all the help that you have given us and 
will possibly give us future time. You're, you're very welcome. And we hope to be seeing you soon. Okay. Sure. And Cormoran's like, I hope if they survive. And uh, the others just give him dirty looks. Aw, our hubby's wonderful. Anyways. Oh, it... when says when says my hubby's wonderful. I say hello. Yeah, I'll no, no, say no, hello. You, get, you guys hello. haven't actually gotten married. I just referred to him as your hubby. I, I, I still call him my cubby hubby too. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> the paper's technicality. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, all of a sudden, uh, with uh, some magical wisps of or wiggle of her her four claws all of a sudden this like uh hurricane wind blows up and surrounds uh, uh you and cyrus and crebus and you appear at the front door uh right here I get my token. Did I? I did not. Hold on. Do I have a... He's watching his Sailor Moon. Uh, I've been catching up on Sailor Moon too. He uh, he's watching the original dub, like the redubbed one, and yep. he just started season four. That's awesome. Uh, I have Pick TV because I have Telus as my internet provider. They were like, "Hey, have this." So I was like, okay. And I didn't really use it that I realized that it like has like the new RuPaul on it and um Sailor Moon and stuff and Bob's burgers and stuff. So it's like I'm using it more than I thought I would. <laughs> oh, we have a uh, Hulu and so it has all there on it. Nice. Oh, you should uh since you like this, uh you should see what I got him for Christmas. Ooh. When a, Justin likes um, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Oh my god! Original 1990s replica. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cute! He's <laughs> like giving me all the stuff. Like, look at that. Oh my god, I love and it! Like, it like. Kind of sound like right here. Like. That's so cool! It's so good. Lowry. And it even came with like a really nice box. Oh, that's so cool! It, it's his favorite Sailor Scout, the one he identifies with the most. Sailor, so it's like uh, Uranus. Uranus, okay. So um, I already had it planned to grab him. The, we're going to get Sailor Neptunes because they actually work together and they cross. Like they can oh. stand in us and all, and then uh, this they have these like really nice figurines of um that can either be apart or intertwined. And I'm making I'm gonna make a big like wall piece of it. So it's like the wands in between and then the sailor scouts on them. Oh that's so cute. Uh, yeah. I personally uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of Sailor Moon. Um it would come on at night and then I'd watch it guiltily while my parents were like, Oh you shouldn't watch that. Um That's for girls. Jupiter's my favorite. Jupiter's um, my favorite. I really like Venus. Venus is my favorite. Um, but I don't know a whole lot about her, and I don't remember if she's a huge bitch or not. 
No, no, none of them are actual huge. Well, Mars is it, she rags on. Um, she rags Usagi. on Usagi so much. It's, yeah, she rags on Usagi a lot, but not like it's all like it's, like, it's none of them are like, bit, and it's like fun, yeah. it's friends doing it. It's like I'm like, oh hey, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, none of them are big, like, actual bitches or anything at all. Um, but yeah, uh, Jupiter is my favorite, um, because she's the really strong one, and she deals with lightning. Uh, so, question. Mm -hmm. So, I've been watching, like, the old Sailor Moon. Huh. What season? Because I've been, like, watching, like, season one. Like, I watched them go, like, the 1992 dub. Mm -hmm. Uh, when do I see Sailor Venus? Because I'm still in season one. You, um, by end of... All of them, like, I can't remember the actual episode, but I know you see, you meet them all in, like, at least the inner scouts in season one. Okay. I think. Josh, Cubby would be the one to ask, and he's in the shower. Ah. Uh. So... <laughs> <laughs> I would message him later. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking other dirty thoughts, but that's beside the point. Maybe yeah, mine, mine went there. Mine went there too. Okay. I don't like. Trust me, mine went there too. It's like, hmm. but yeah. So you, uh, the the, you you all kind of like flutter up you kind of like just hover up and uh, you suddenly appear at the entrance into a dark cavern mm -hmm. uh flanked yeah. by two uh obsidian statues of what looked to be dragonborn oh like just regular dragonborn or iodrinian dragonborn to you, they look like regular Dragonborn. Okay. It's quite possible that that some Iodrinian uh, Dragonborn just don't have additional features. Or have additional features that don't look like additional features. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me actually do some revealing here. We got Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. So you you have a dark vision for sixty feet, right? I believe yes. so. Uh, so we got. <gasps> if I'm a dragon, I have blind sense. Okay. Right. Might help if I use the right thing. Camera going off because I'm self conscious while I eat. Okay. And I am present. I am just. Eating. Yeah, Eating. That's okay. <laughs> I, I, I've never actually required anybody to have a camera. It's just encouraged. <laughs> it's desired, not required. <laughs> so you look in, you see uh, a, a hallway that goes uh, forward and a couple of to the right and left. Uh, I'll let you take the lead here. Uh, I was just about to say I would do the same. We, we do, uh, Cyrus will technically... storm forward. <laughs> I'll take the lead. <coughs> Which way are you going? I went ahead and took a took a long rest <laughs> on the sheet, so I'm like... That's okay. Mm, you can be up. considered <laughs> long rest rested. Even by the time we go, we start the dungeon and the main thing. Gonna take a long rest, so I back up to yeah. I'm, I'm after yeah, that I'm, fight. I, I'm also gonna gonna just let you know that there is no uh, uh, physical dangers in here. He will go to the left. <laughs> I, I I did I, I chose not to to necessarily put any traps in here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go. Yeah, let's we'll see. We'll go right here. And just see. Okay. So left, right. Forward, okay. So we're just going in to left. see. See, we'll go. We'll ah. go left. Oh, oh you, that. Oh, okay, <laughs> that left. Well, <laughs> your other left. <laughs> I, I obviously you can see down down this hallway. 
And Kurt was following you. Uh, all right, healing areas. Cyrus, please let the tank lead, okay? <laughs> you guys weren't deciding when to go, so I went. You had a, you were giving me like two seconds. All right. So I'm sure you go <laughs> go down the hall. And yeah. You can probably probably see around this corner. <laughs> Cyrus is just like dashing. <laughs> because I didn't put any traps in here, this is gonna be kind of boring. So I'm gonna do. Uh, so, but I'm just letting you meander, so we can take time for you to, f to figure out where everything is. <laughs> so it takes up time. <laughs> and put food in belly. You can probably see. I'll just say you can see everything. Now we're all just going quiet as as you move and I reveal. <laughs> <laughs> and did it. And did it. We're, we're 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 just saying you're going where everybody's going. So I'm not worrying about. Yeah, I probably right, didn't so, even no. make, make Rebus token. Go all the way back. Does it wait? Wait, wait. is this a entr like a way to go? Yeah. Okay, then we're gonna go here. It's just because it like never revealed itself, so. Barrel. I search the barrel. Um. Don't be a mimic. 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 <laughs> uh, you find uh, fourteen gold pieces and some silver pieces. Woohoo! Okay, I gotta open up my. Right, I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, I'm not using that macro because that did not work for what I wanted it to. So fourteen gold pieces. And how much silver? Seven. Seven. Actually, it probably would have, should have been the other, but I'm saying that. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick into my my druthers. <laughs> uh, stick into your grits. All right. Um, is, I'm guessing like this is like a bedroll. Uh, hold on. Kind of what it looks like. Uh, it just looks like some. Some canvas. Okay. There we go. That's what I want. Is it stinky canvas? Yeah, it looks like it's been here for a while. Gross. <laughs> Ew. Alright. I'll go back here. Oh, you, passing here, you would have seen it too. All right. This is called making sure you cleared out a portion of the map. <laughs> yep. We're gonna explore it all. All right, now we're gonna go back this. Way. <laughs> no, Cyrus, we're going this way. Fine. I am the leader. <laughs> Listen to Daddy Dragon. <laughs> That's a dead end. I swear to God. Well, this part's a dead end, yes. I swear to God, yeah. I said it! <laughs> There's more. Dead end. Daddy Dragon well, is no longer allowed to lead. Cyrus too bad I'm still, 
too bad I'm still leading. So, so you're going into here, okay? Yeah. Cool. Cyrus led this time. <laughs> yep. All the way. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Oh, there's there. <laughs> okay. See, you led last time. Now, I'm taking control again. Kribis rolls his eyes. Be on my side. <laughs> He's not saying anything. He just rolls his eyes. We're gonna end up running like headlong into like something really, really bad. <laughs> no, that's true. I did say that there were no traps. No, no creatures. <laughs> I don't remember saying that there were no creatures. He didn't yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you said no traps, but you didn't say no creatures. Which is why I wanted to be at full health and everything. Anything revealed over here? Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Yeah. There you go. Do so you see that it kind yeah. of turns over? Uh, see, uh, here it does turn. Like, how narrow is this? Uh, you could squeeze. So, Kerbis is like, uh, I don't think I can get through there. <laughs> Just, uh, I'll stay here. See you later, old man. <laughs> hey. Cyrus will pull down the tunnel. <laughs> Search the rubble. You see a bunch of rubble and some vines. Investigation. <laughs> Search everywhere. Look at everything. You find vines. I would like to harvest the magical celestial world vines. They, uh, while, while harvesting them, you notice that they seem to be normal, everyday finds that you may even <laughs> find in Toro. I call bullshit. <laughs> These vines have concurrently evolved in a parallel dimension. This in itself is knowledge. I harvest the vines. <laughs> Cyrus you is gonna have a her add a herbology department to his to the roll, secret lair. Roll me, <laughs> roll me a dexterity check. Uh oh. <laughs> Something we're both not good at. You, you're you better than me. Two, yeah, you, you, it, it starts kind of breaking up and crumbling. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you are able to successfully <laughs> harvest like. Uh, a pound worth of like okay vines except maybe maybe a sister Frederica would, might be able to do something with potions for this I mean, you know. oh these aren't for potions I just want to grow vines 
<laughs> you just, I just want them. <laughs> <laughs> this is for later. Josh is back. He is alive. <laughs> um. Yeah, she shows up in one. All right. Awesome. Where are you at in season one? Episode 11, I think. We got Sailor Mars a couple episodes ago. So where are you going? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you haven't moved. Uh, Cyrus will go down this little tunnel. Mm-hmm. Hello, welcome back. I don't know yet. Okay, there we go. It happens every once in a while with my phone that I have to exit and re-exit. Oh, I was supposed to show you this. It also has this. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. Oh my well, god! It's a, little, it's a little crop top. Oh. Hmm? Yeah, it's an at-home only shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I agree with that. I have a couple at-home only shirts, too. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, okay. So then. Yeah, because uh, I know with the original series, they have a lot more fillers than, like, with Crystal. Okay. Original. Yeah, also, um... Moon Tiara action is a very overpowered ability. <laughs> <laughs> Moon Tiara action! Wait. Boom! Bad guy dead! <laughs> Th there's, there's nothing here? Like, there's no way? Oh, hold on. We split up. <laughs> Just to make Wynn's life more difficult. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back this way. Okay, this is still over there. Over there. That's interesting that there's no, like, just a void there. You have an explorer over there. But we've explored all around it. Let me, let me, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, you would have seen that, sorry. That's <laughs> like, wait, there's <laughs> there he is, we're not seeing. <laughs> So it's sometimes hard to differentiate between the the, the oh let me zoom in the walls or all right you you've a, uh, well I suppose that is a little bit of a squish place mm hmm <laughs> you got twenty two episodes. Cyrus. Oh, I need another 22, or I need to get to episode 22? No, you gotta get to episode 33. Before oh. Venus shows up. No! There's a lot of fillers in this. I need my Sailor V! 
<laughs> you should tell that to Josh. I need my Sailor V! <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> the highest of it all. There, I'm back. I have finished consuming food. Num num num. Oh, look at that hallway. That's a nice hallway. That's a nice hallway. Oh, Kriv is just like running away. I said I was gonna go back to go back this way because there's more still. <coughs> Technically, you're following me. Technically, we're we're just assuming you're all on. We're just like chomping at the bit of like. Gah, 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 gah. <laughs> And there's a dragon. Oh, what is this? So you see this kind of like a fountain with an emerald uh, dragon on top. Investigate. Is this? Yes. Check this out. See if it is one of those that we are looking for. Is is this is this the dragon we are looking for? Is this, um, Emery? Emery. Emery! Knock, knock! <laughs> Roll for initiative. <gasps> you don't, I you can't really tell anything when you, when you, when you, when you touch the dragon, it seems just to be an emerald, or... Uh, when you look at it, it just seems to be an average, normal, well, normal as a uh, dragon, uh, as an emerald carved to look like a dragon. But it's a big thing that's carved like an emerald. Yes, it looks like it. It looks like it just a, an emerald dragon statue, and there's there's water spouting from its mouth. Oh, so pot. cute. I can do that right. too. Lawful. Now the question so is lawful good. Lawful good. The question is, do you touch it? Yes. Absolutely. Bunk. <laughs> just like it just seems like drawn me. to it, just Boop the snoot! Boop the <laughs> snoot! <laughs> Cyrus boops the snoot with the most force possible for a creature with twelve just... strengths. Just, yeah. <laughs> just want to see what a creature with 19 strength does. <laughs> Crib like boobs the snoot as, star as hard as he can, decapitates the statue. <laughs> <laughs> and just water just starts spewing everywhere. You're like, oh, sh just put it back, put it back, I think put it you back. just Man. killed the Man. emerald dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus, use mint. Cyrus, use mint. <laughs> you can't mend these wounds. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun, Wind. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's you and me. We're having fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the, okay. Is. What element of stuff is the Emerald Dragon associated with? Can I do a history check? Because, like, even, like, like, the Emerald, or the Crystal Dragons, I think they're still associated with, like, water or ice or lightning, like, that sort of thing. So I'm just wondering if, yes. Right. So here's what happens when you touch the, the, the dragon, or the emerald dragon. You suddenly, in green mist, uh, swirls around you, and 
you when it clears you enter a you find a cobweb filled room lit by torches on op opposite walls dust on the floor is collected in grooves that cover rows of five foot square tiles on the opposite wall a solitary arch leads from the room one wall bears the following inscription eight appear before your eyes and eight remain in school disguise avoid all magic in this room less reckless steps ensure your doom detect magic okay actually, so yeah. can you put the um the riddle in the chat actually it should now be in the handout that i just created Okay, there it is. It appeared before your eyes, Avery. School of the sky. Avoid all magic. Ooh. Wait. The school's of magic. <clears throat> yeah. Ne necromancy. Um, necromancy, there's evocation. Okay, I found that. Um... So necromancy, invocation, divination, transmutation, conjuration. Wait, 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 wait a sec. So necromancy, invocation, divination, transmutation, conjuration, and illusion. Illusion. There's two more. Abjuration and transmutation. Oh, I said transmutation. Enchantment. Enchantment. It's a word search! I love these! Okay, so this is on the floor? Or on the ceiling? Or like... Okay. Right, just to, to make this a little bit easier. Yeah, dust on the floor has five foot square tiles on the opposite wall of slow tray arch leads from the room. Alright. So, we get to we get to word search. I love this. <laughs> you do see from the the other side, the other side of the room, you do see um an emerald glow. Ooh. Uh, Cyrus, um, Kelby sent you a message. Okay, so there's those. So, illusion, conjuration, invocation, necromancy. Abjuration. Cyrus can fly right over it. Oh my! I I make these nice pretty squares, and you just bleh, lines. Well, sorry, I. <laughs> sorry, divination, abjuration, conjuration, enchantment, illusion, invocation, necromancy. I amend my statement. There are traps. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Wait a minute. I said that there were traps in the maze. 
<laughs> We're not in the maze right now. So, okay. Conjuration, invocation, enchantment, divination, transmutation. There it is. Eight appear before your eyes, and eight remain in school disguise. Avoid all magic in this room. Less reckless steps ensure your doom. Cyrus will fly over top Thriller, of it. Thriller of the night. We're fighting for your laughing. <laughs> okay, so do you have to like... No! 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 Okay, stop. Stop. Back up. Let me read. Would, like, before you do, before you do anything, let me let me read this again. Eight before your eyes, and eight remained in school disguise. Avoid all magic in this room, lest reckless steps ensure your doom. Cyrus, yeah, but all like these. But if you look at it, all of them, all of them make a path. Like all. No, of them are connected. you jump over top of them. Jump Cyrus, like, I mean, like here, here, ray of frost. <laughs> Cyrus, uh, grip before he steps on the end. <laughs> Avoid all magic. Avoid. All no, it magic. means don't step on it. <laughs> I mean, do you want to step on it? I mean, I can't stop. It, it, I mean, he he could shoot a ray of frost at you to kind of warn you and be like trying to yell at you. It's like just don't step on it. <laughs> Most reckless step, I'm sure. I think it is like to show, like, we have to step on the right letters. Eight appear before your eyes, no. and eight remain in school disguise. Avoid all magic in this room. Thus, reckless steps ensure your doom. Okay, so, okay, so I say, like, jump over these letters. Yes. Like, okay. okay. So. So, you just go one square at a time so I can see where you are. Yeah. So, here. And step in there, okay. Here. Mm hmm? Here. Mm hmm. This is so. I'm racked with anxiety right now. Here. I'm just waiting for Wind to be like, Dexterity check! Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and roll me a dexterity check. Or, excuse me. Roll me a constitution save. Take 11 points of uh, poison damage as as around the tile that you step onto, this burst of uh, poison shoots up. I don't understand. Okay. You, you would, just to say, you would have gone over here because this is a wall. Yeah, so the left I, I was just right moving. My, I was more hand. moving my piece off so I could see what I was on. Yeah, the top, the top and bottom are clear. Te clear technically, like Kriv, technically, Kriv is still right here. I was just yeah. trying to see like what letter I was on. Because, mm -hmm. yes, nothing happened between I and. No, because that doesn't make sense because I stepped on an A and an N. Well, the only thing to try is still go forward. Alright. Uh, roll me another constitution save. By the way, uh, you have your armor. 
I believe that it gives you advantage on things that you can see. Dexterity. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's like it's dexterity saving throws. Hey, there we go. That's a good one. There you are. Alright. So you only take four points of damage. Same thing happens. Points. Okay. I'm just moving myself so I can see what I'm on. I mean, it, I'm still it, in the eye. if anything, what you can do is like zoom out the map and uh, pop up the handout because the map and the handout are the image are exactly the same. Wait. Eight. It so it... before your eyes and eight <clears throat> remain in school disguise. Avoid all magic in this room. Let's, oh let's my god! Look! Magic! Oh! Magic! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. And then there's magic here. Um, starting from here to here. Uh, does the backwards backwards count? Yeah, because yeah. it's still. I would just be safe. Yeah. Okay, so we're here. Like, Kurt's gonna come back here. He's gonna test this space. All right, roll me a Constitution save. Actually, hold on. Is it? it uh, Krebus stops you before you do that. It says, "Honey, let me do this." That was a good one, though. Oh yeah. no, it wasn't. No, what no. happened? It looked like it was gonna be a sixteen. Okay, Let's so. See. All right, so it's all the schools of magic and the words of magic. So Krebus steps on there instead of you. And he... I understand he's the big old pool of health and all, and... He takes three points still. of damage. Okay. So... Back. Okay. So it took damage, so obviously, okay, any words of magic, any schools of magic, so... Alright, we're gonna do come here. Go kind of like jump. Wait a minute, hold on. Before you do that, you have have that set up as part of enchantment, don't you? No. Oh wait, yes. Yes, okay. yes it is. Okay. You would already know so, that, so I'm not doing that against you. Yeah. All right. So then, so here, here, I'm gonna. Here. Yep. I mean, you can easily jump over a tile, so. Yeah, because it's just five foot. Cyrus yeah. is actually like literally flying above, and he's like <laughs> trying to find the words magic. <laughs> there. Mhm. Mm there. Mhm. Mm there. Mm -hmm. Jump. Yep. Yeah. You're fine. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, do a con save. What letter are you on? A. Right here. Oh, I think we just need to avoid... 
Okay. Uh, I'm I trying think... to see. Uh, but you need the Constitution. Yep. That's not bad. Take fourteen points of All damage. Right. If you would like, you can. Um... But it's not. Okay, why are you circling those ones? These are letters that are guaranteed to not be magic. Because they aren't magic. So these are all safe spots. Well, because that A was. I was stepped right here, and that wasn't. I'm just trying to see if there's, like any other way going through it like diagonal or anything it's another school or something nope i see it m-a-g-i-c going from here to here oh my goodness all right so we're gonna go take damage that's fine i go there Yeah. Very good. All right, so this is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then that M looks good. Yeah, the M is good, but then the magic is down there, and then that's all eight. And then jump here. Yeah, you could also do diagonal and then up. That's fine. Grievous follows your path. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> you get to the other side of the room and walk in, and inside you see on um, a, a green pillow on a pedestal is this emerald gem. Boop! That's this big. Go ahead and, uh, Pick up, yeah, uh, go to touch the emerald and pick it up. Okay. And uh, so I'll send in a green swirl of mist as you pick it up. And holding it, you hear this, like, you hear something sleeping. All right. And you return back to where you were. All right. Then. Is there anything? Yes. One down. I'll assume you picked it over here. Probably seen it right over here. Ooh. What is this? It is a brazier with with uh, lightly glowing flames. Hmm. Okay. Nothing. But just just a regular brazier. It's a brazier. It 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 seems that that you could like keep warm here, but it's it's not like scalding hot or anything. It makes it just. Comfortable. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I'm still drawing. Big oops. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. I'm mean, I'm just gonna do this because. Okay. So it's a dead end. All right. And I'll assume you searched the spot since there was it was a hole. Yeah. Back here. Oh, can we, like, search over here quick? Say we did. So... Oh! What's here? A, what is, is that? It is a uh, pool of water uh, with what looks to be a sapphire bottom and a ivory statue. Uh, of a dragon over me, up over it. We go into the water. The yep, go into the water and then touch the statue. Well, you didn't need to touch the statue. But let me do this. Cannonball into the water and you go into a different dimension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, oh, is this a? It is. Uh, I would like one of you to roll me a d12. Want to or should I? I got it. Ooh. All right. Choose your favorite. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. There's not so many people rushing to do it. <laughs> or, be like, Cyrus, roll this. Three other people roll it. Yeah. <laughs> I never get to roll my own things. <laughs> so, you you touch the water. No, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> Never mind. Um, as you touch the water, uh, you hear a rumbling sound. And a table ri rises up. Uh, you find nine dwarf skulls rest near a four foot t set of tiles on the floor and carved with or er, carved on the pedestal and carved into a nearby stone uh, into the stone altar or uh, uh, and uh, okay so it's a platform and it has a like a at the end of it is a kind of like a plaque almost it's a stone oh. etch thing, which says, "Brave warriors met their demise foretold. Their secret kept, yet it shall yet unfold. If crowns placed correctly on the shrine, celestial beds for four of nine. And I believe this has a handout, so let me get that for you. Also, wind. I'm enjoying it. Just so I am as well. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> Yay! Uh, positive feedback. Always good to give the DMs positive feedback. And out. And I'll I'll get this onto the puzzle sheet. 
but you can look at it for right now. Oh, done. Four of nine. All right. Oh. Here. Give me a moment. Boop, boop. Boop, hey, boop. Hey, 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 hey. No, boop, no, boop. no. Boop, boop. Stop. No. Try to figure this out. Cyrus would like to place the skulls in those spots. That's rude. So you put a skull in each of those spots? Yes. Those four spots? Yes. Okay. Nothing happens. Fuck. Wait. We probably have to use Why did you choose there? Because they because add up to nine. Three times three is nine, three times three is nine, three times three is nine, and three times three is nine. It says four of nine. So put four skulls in the four spots that make nine. That was my thinking. I thought it was a good answer. No, it is. I like your thinking. It is not correct. Dang. Because there's also these stars, but they have some key. How many skulls are there? No. Nine. Seven. Do that. Brave warriors, yet their demise foretold. Their secret kept shall yet unfold. All crowns placed directly on the shrine. Celestial beds for four of nine. Oh! What? Celestial beds. So four need to be put on the stars, I believe. Which four? I don't know this... if it matters, because all of the skulls look exactly the same. I'm talking about the stars. There's six stars. I say for sure the like here, here. Let's just do it here. Could you try that with those with four skulls on those ones? Nothing. Do 
taking silence as nothing. Okay. I will allow in, although technically this is supposed to be for dwarf characters, I will allow a uh, insight check if you would like a hint. If you oh, want please. a hint. Yes. <laughs> yes, because I want to get this done before we, we end the night. Anyway, sorry, 11 o'clock. Oh, we got an hour left. Yeah. Insight. I'm not good at insight. Okay, roll an insight. Uh, I, I got it. Damn it. Nope. There you, ah! go. There you, there you go. So, Cyrus, the one, two, and three markings around the edge of the grid likely to know how many skulls must be placed in those rolls, rows and columns. It's Sudoku! Oh my god! Why? Okay, let me fucking clean this shit up. All right. Uh -oh. Oh, that's not it. How do I clean? Yeah, I might be able to. I might be able to. Do it. Hold on. Uh, clear your eyes. Clear. There you are. Thank you. Okay, so one. And then one. There's only one here, so there's three here. So there's a line through this one because there's always already one there. No here. There's three here. There. One, two, yeah, three, perfect. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boop! Done! And four of them are on stars. Nothing happens. No way! Uh, I, I will give you an additional hint. If you move two of the skulls from their current positions, you will have to solve this puzzle. Okay, this one here, this one here. Numbers are still right. No, but then that means then there would be five on the stars. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It still doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> oh, all right, uh, can you clear it again, Wind? Pretty please. Okay. All right. Don't worry. I'll I'll I'll, I'll help to speed this up a little bit uh, uh, for the next round here. Well, I should probably. To be fair, I think the one that I did earlier was the correct solution, just not the one you were looking for. Correct. <laughs> nope, that's wrong. Yeah, because there's too many. What if the one is here? So like one, two, three. Do Do you remember what you had the first first place? Uh, yes. It was right. like this.
I thought. All right. So I'm, you... I'm just impressed that I was able to just boom recreate it. <clears throat> the left, <laughs> the left column and the right column, are correct. Okay. So then this one is here then, and then this one isn't one. And this one is here. Yeah. Do you position the skulls appropriately? And uh, you hear, uh, a, a, you see the dragon mouth uh, from the ivory dragon open up and a sapphire flops out into the water. I would like Yay. to pick it up. Big yoink. Hello! Ah! Ah, what, what, what is that? Your puzzle's stupid. It has multiple answers. You should fix that next time. <laughs> Cyrus. No, it was a really fun puzzle. I'm just, Cyrus is just being nitpicky. <laughs> All right. So here, here's what I'm going to do. Just to kind of help speed things up. <laughs> oh. Holy fuck, there is no... Oh, going through this would have taken so long. <laughs> it, yeah, it was it was taking... Oh my god. That is huge. <laughs> so basically, you just, just need to pick the place where you think the, 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 the gem might be. So the here. Be. All right. Yeah, one here, here... And here I'm assuming. Alright. So, where do you want to go first? We'll uh, go here. Because it's closest. Which one? Looting anything that we might have found, too. We'll move your token. <laughs> I just, oh, I just gave bullshitted loot. I wasn't planning on any loot. So start off oh. with that one? Yeah. Alright. What's the... I mean, this time I'm just gonna get it. I'm enjoying the puzzles, though. The puzzles are a lot of yes. fun. The maze is just huge. Yeah, I yeah no, it is. A, I really enjoy, I love big mazes. All right. So I'm gonna do this one. All right, so we'll go back to puzzle page here. I'm going to clear the drawings. Uh, clear the drawings. I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, pop on. Find an old piece of paper bearing a list of spells and components. Random, oh. random numbers are also scratched quickly on the paper between the two lists. The message from the top of the page says, "Read untouched to gain. Read untouched to gain new spells." Read untouched to. Yeah, it just says read untouched to gain new spells, but your intuition says that uh, 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 you're not going to get new spells. You're just going to get a gem dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I wanted sunbeam. <laughs> okay. Oop. Oh, okay. It. I think all of them need the material component. Yeah. Like match the material component. Lucky for me, I have a bajillion spells. <laughs> um, Don't have that one. Don't have that one. 
Don't have that Arcane one. Eye. Arcane Eye is magnifying glass. I'm guessing. I like how it's like, I have so many cells, and then the first three I don't have. <laughs> Arcane lock needs gold dust. What's going on? There. I think title what nope. Oh, there. Detect thoughts, sorry. Title. I have Tidal Wave, which needs water. water. That for... Arcana... Magnifying glass. Oh my goodness. Sunbeam. Like that? that Rebus better. helps out by being whole person uses iron. Mage armor is cured leather, so. Shatter is bat fur. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making a mess. Alright, so. <laughs> Use use the polygon line tool would probably be a little bit easier. That's what I'm using. No, Co you're using, control Z. You're using the the free hand. Okay, I so was using that. Mage. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta click once, click twice, and then right click. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, can we erase it? Do, do a quick, let's let's do a quick reset here. Yeah, <laughs> we are learning. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. So bump, uh, boom, boom. boom. Okay. Oh, I need to reselect. I think. Boom, boom. No, Hold on. Boom, boom, boom. There you are. I think Sunbeam needs the mica. Yeah, that makes sense. You put Shatter to mica. Yeah. <laughs> I... So there we go. Does nothing happen? No, read untouched to gain new spells. So the word now we have the letters that don't have any intersection. So we have P R O T and E. Or maybe I don't know is that E. Trope. T O P. There's an R as well. R Port. We got. Wait, Port. which ones? Wait, I just wanted to look up something quickly here. There we go. There. So, which ones did you? Or were you not sure of? Uh, Sunbeam and Shatter. Okay. Yeah, Krubus doesn't know anything about those spells. Oh. 
I do have Shatter. It's it Shatter uses the mica. Okay, and then Yeah, right. are you sure Arkine I uses magnifying glass? Because I think Sunbeam I'm might not, use I was magnifying glass. I wasn't one hundred percent sure. I was just guessing. Because the arcane eye is kind of. Okay. Can we reset? Yeah. So let's go through with the ones that we know for sure. So shatter is. Mica, tidal wave is water. Water. Uh, arcane lock is gold dust. Uh, detect thoughts is a copper piece. Hold person, Hold person is iron. Yep. Now, arcane eye. I think sunbeam is a magnifying glass. Arcane eye is bat fur. Oh, oops. Uh, that doesn't matter though. Uh, and then mage armor is the cured leather. So P E P E S T O. But there's still this R. Yes, right. presto! Woo! You shout presto at the top of your your lungs and popping out of a brazier in the room room uh, and landing right on the parchment is a uh, topaz gem. Yay! Or wait a minute. Was it a topaz gem or where were we? We're at where the fire is. Are we at the fire? I thought no, we're at the water. We were at the water. No, I don't. I I came here. Oh, I moved my token here. That's why. Uh, I'll, I'll say we were at the. You, you went to the to Brazier and got the Topaz one. Okay. Okay. And then okay. we'll go over to, so the, then, to the other one. Yeah, here. Okay, dokie. All right. What's another one? Casually doing this. Rush! <laughs> Oh, we still have like 40 minutes. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying I'm not enjoying this. I'm just saying. <laughs> Pressure. We, we also did start for like the first 45 minutes, so. Uh, so, uh, you, you find a pool of water, and. Uh, there looks like there's a grate at the bottom, but it doesn't look like something anything is flowing into the pool of water. Interesting. Touch the it water. Actually, it actually kind of yeah. So you touch the water, and uh, <laughs> you get, you, get, you, get, you get pulled in. In um, and everything goes goes black for a second. And when you you awaken, you watch a figure approach an oak door with a slide window. The figure knocks and a door guard opens the window and says, six. The figure replies, three. The guard then opens the door, allowing the figure to enter. You see kind of a white sparkly light coming from through that window. Cool. What did the, the guy that came with to the door say? Three. Three? God, I've heard this one before. I, I would like to go up it. to him. You go up to the door? Yes. Yep. The door is closed. The, the little slide window thing is is shut. Knock, knock, knock. knock. The door. He, he opens it up, uh, looks at you. It's 12. Three. Six. No, six. Uh, with the six, he opens the door. And oh. the, or the door opens, I should say. 
Uh, and you see a room with a little pedestal uh, with a white pillow, and on it looks like a some sort of crystal. Grab the crystal. We are the crystal. Gem. With a whoosh, the water <laughs> from the pool goes up and just kind of like reforms you uh, right next to the pool. And you're See, so I fun. thought it was more complicated than just half of whatever number was asked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that's the thing. Sometimes there's simple, like, you think it's complex, but it's simple. Yeah. All right. Here. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. All right. Where are you? Oh. Down here. Uh, the pool is absolutely black. It's, it looks like some sort of black liquid uh, inside it. Hello, black liquid. This Hello, one I don't want to touch. touch. <laughs> I'll, I'll touch it. Uh, you touch it, and uh, this, what looks like to Cyrus black tar crawls up and uh and gulfs and then the gulf script and he, he goes in okay uh, <laughs> no take uh, no i'm coming with <laughs> <laughs> take me with you <laughs> um you uh stand in a room with the door and there's a little pedestal uh, the door here is locked with no handle instead there is a slot in the door with an engraving above it that reads insert exact change here nearby a wooden bowl of coins rests atop a wooden table the tabletop is engraved with nine squares in a three by three grid nailed to the table's leg is a piece of parchment with the following instructions 15 per column 15 per row Diagonally, the same as so. A plea of warning to carefully count. No two places may hold the same amount. What coin in the center be fed through the door? Exact change for passage or trouble galore. All right, so each row... For this one, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I actually don't have a handout, but I'll, I will get, I'll get you a handout with the text. Okay, that's uh, good enough. So each, each row and each column have to equal fifteen. Same with diagonal. Diagonal. Um, and they can't have the same coin. Like, yeah. In the row. And then whatever is in the center, which we figure out is in the center, goes into the door. Yeah. Okay. Um, give me like thirty seconds. So you could even use the grid here to and like put the numbers to kind of kind of put it to. So it's a fifteen by fifteen thing, right? Uh, no, it's an it's a three by three grid. Three by three grid. Oh, a three by three grid. Okay. Yeah, it's just the total of each column and row have to equal fifteen. Okay, what's in the wooden bowl? Uh, coins. I know it says coins. Coins, but like what kind of coins? Uh, they, they're just like, uh, uh, I'll say gold coins, but they have numbers on them. And then diagonally needs to also equal 15, correct? Yes, yes. And you can't uh, have the same numbers going like this, or like this, or like this. Yeah. 15 per okay. column, 15 per row, diagonally the same as so. A plea of warning to careful count, carefully count. No two pieces may hold the same amount. What coins in the center be fed through the door? Exact change for passage or trouble galore. Um, actually, right. actually, I think this is more of it's just coins. But this is more of like you could probably like pile them up and then whatever pile would be in that. Okay. So, so yeah. like you put six coins in one one, you put one in one, you put two in another, etc. That sort of thing. Ooh. 
Ooh, I, I love math puzzles. These are fun. Okay, so question. Does the... Alright, here. Also, I, I will let you know this. There is uh, investigation or insight hints. So, Do these ones also have to equal 15? These two. So 15 per column and 15 per row, diagonally the same as so. Okay, so just so, the the middle ones. So right? I, I will I will say this. I, I will go ahead and say this. It, it's in sets of three numbers. Okay. So right. so that's going, what I was trying to going make sure. from middle middle to middle of a column in a row uh, doesn't have to be fifteen. I'm rolling insight check. Insight. The uh, top left column, or top left one, would be a six. And uh, the center middle, or, or center bottom. Uh, like, and, you don't want to tell us center middle. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. The, so six the in the upper center left, bottom is... center bottom is nine. Okay. Now... If we also roll an investigation check, would that give us something different too, or would it ju you just be like it'd be the same thing? Maybe. Cyrus, you want to do investigation? Investigation. <laughs> uh, you realize that if diagonal corners added up to ten, it makes filling out the rest of the grid much easier. So each corner has to equal up to ten. So that means so, the bottom. So like the right the top top left. And the bottom That's right sick. versus the bottom left and the top right. Oh, the middle so, five. Yeah, because it has to equal 15. Yeah, so the middle should be five. So we'll slot five coins into the hole. You hear a click. And you try the door and it opens up easily. <laughs> you uh, only needed to solve for the corners, <laughs> and then you can figure it out. Yeah. Inside, uh, inside. There's a black hole. hole. Inside, you see this little claw void. <laughs> with uh, an oval piece of obsidian in, in the middle of the claw. It looks like a claw. That's awesome. Wind's just gonna like get sick of us one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the okay. infinite this void is... is indeed there, and you all die. <laughs> this is the most the most puzzles we've done. Period. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not no complaining shade, at but all. We'd probably be arguing about something <laughs> because someone would have decided to try and break the puzzle. That's all right. <laughs> so, sir. Um, all right. So now we're back, <laughs> and we go here. All right. Sorry, I had something in my throat. And I had to clear it. So. Yeah, there's nothing. You, <laughs> you see a pool of water. There's nothing there. You touch the water. Nothing happens. It's just a pool of water. Where? Which pool of water? Down, Down here on the bottom left. Oh. Here? Here? What is this? I don't even know what that is. Um, that is, in <laughs> fact, the infinite void. <laughs> it looks like... Well, I'm looking at what no. Kirby's looking at. Uh, Cyrus is still at Crystal. Um, yeah, it looks like just like a uh, campfire uh, with some still hot coals. It would be great for cooking if you had some, like, utensils or something like that, or, like, a platter pan. Or you could probably cook something over the fire. What about this? Uh, you see a couple of beds. Is there anything here? Could I yeah. loot? If there, let's see if there's anything of use. Mm, okay. Nope. Just some beds, bed sheets, pillows. Acceptable. We seem quite what about nice, right actually. here? 
Uh, it's not where I'm looking, so... Where are you pinging? Right here. Oh. Um... <laughs> it's like a sonar pulse. It's a... Uh, well, I mean, that's technically what the ping looks like. It's supposed to be, I suppose. Uh, I have no idea. Except something red. Oh, it's a pool of blood. Oh, me too. There we go. <laughs> what about this? There we go for Cyrus. <laughs> uh, you 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 find a little brazier and a chest next to it, which seems to <gasps> appears to be locked. Ooh, can I knock? Um. You knock and you disappear, and <gasps> everybody in the room with you disappears. Okay, <laughs> so I'm like, I knock too. Wait, I don't have this. <laughs> Everyone gets slurped into the chest. Uh, you appear in a tavern. The tavern is crowded with uh, happy people enjoying their food and drinks. Behind the bar, a stocky woman is wiping down the wooden bar top. She looks up at you as you. You appear and nods towards an empty table before her attention is drawn elsewhere. You see a copy of the tavern's menu on the table. I would like to sit down and read it. Uh, a sign on the bar declares that a meal costs one silver, a mug of ale costs four copper pieces, a glass of fine wine costs one silver piece and a bottle of fine wine costs three pieces silver pieces menu on the table contains a list of specialties the tavern serves and how much each item costs only the menu is needed to solve the puzzle <laughs> all right so one so read it again Side of the bar declares that a meal costs one silver piece a mug of ale costs four copper pieces a glass of fine wine costs one silver piece, and a bottle of fine wine costs three silver pieces. Okay. So what is the goal? Uh, she walks up to you and sa says, says something, says, if you're worth your weight in copper, you'll speak the password to earn my trust. Let me just say this. The original intention for, for using this puzzle, the characters discover that a popular local tavern is a front for a secret organization that they seek to join join or infiltrate. The name of the tavern can be whatever you want, to, want it to be. One suggests is Cloak and Dagger. To get their foot in the proverbial door, the characters must speak the correct password to the tavern keeper, hold the heed run. They can uh, discover the password by solving a puzzle hidden in the tavern's name. And I might. Do I have? I not have a handout of the menu, so I will make one. Yay! Thank you. Meal costs one copper. Oh, okay. Cost one copper. Glass of fine wine, one silver. Bottle of fine wine, one. There we seven. go. Menu. It's called Deep Thought with There we are. Here's a menu. I forgot to share it with you all. <laughs> uh, 
So we got corn and lentil soup for 12 copper pieces. Rabbit stew for one copper piece. Ale and cheese pa uh, pastry, seven copper pieces. Brandied ham and carrots for nine copper pieces. Grilled fish and carrots for six copper pieces. Seared board and potatoes for nine copper pieces. And dragon fire mead for 11 copper pieces. Oh, uh, what about the wine and stuff? Mm. Or is that just not relevant? Uh, like, uh, I will. I will give you the hint of you only need the menu. Okay. So the the other stuff is just flavor. So I think we need to add up a total to three silver pieces because that's what she said a meal cost. No, that's what a, a bottle of fine wine costs. A meal costs one copper. Can I roll insight because I'm lost? How about you, Kriv? Um, you can do a uh, either a history check or a perception check. History. Try both of those I'm bad at. I mean, I mean when I said that last, I got an 18, so give it a shot. <laughs> Like, <laughs> no, nope. I mean, I suppose you could say that something's weird uh, when you were looking at the general menu versus the menu in your hand. Yeah, because all these. So, so let me let me read the, the description about. Let me I, I'll also add this. Uh. Here we go. Uh, edit. And uh, actually, I'll put this at the top. Save changes. OK. Sign the bar declares Once. that a meal costs one silver piece. A mug of ale costs four copper piece. A glass of fine wine costs one silver piece. And a bottle of fine wine costs three silver piece. Because, like, the only thing I can think of is breaking things down into how much things actually cost. Like, a cheese pastry is three copper pieces. But that doesn't make any sense on how to use that information. So, I don't think that's it. Oof! <laughs> Gravis, please! Gravis doesn't recognize anything. I will use my luck coin uh, <laughs> to reroll my history check. Uh, Krebus kind of, well, motions her over and says, 
Uh, I don't suppose you can give us a hint. He's very persuasive. Yeah. She, <laughs> he says... <laughs> says, count your lucky coppers that we have seven choices on the menu for you. <gasps> coppers. Ale and cheese pastry. It's seven coppers. Yeah. We'll have the ale and cheese pastry. You know, this 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 looks kind of weird because the, the the menu keeps saying that meals cost a silver piece, but like no. most of these cost uh, less than a silver piece. Yeah. And, like, you would think the rabbit stew would be more expensive than the corn and lentil soup. <laughs> I mean, uh, rabbit stew starts with an R. That's the first letter. Ooh, crab gizgibda. B R A B G S D Crab Gods <laughs> Rabbit uh, Rabbit Stew's first letter starts with an R. Is an R. It is it is one copper piece. Oh so then I, I'm giving you hints, I know. R A B Yes Rabgis I'm sorry <laughs> I'm grasping at straws <laughs> Any thought <laughs> So, so it starts with an R. Grabs. I would like it, to grab the woman. One copper piece <laughs> starts with an R. One copper piece starts with an R. One one copper piece <laughs> starts with an R. One R. R. That's my hint. I'm giving you one letter. <laughs> The Wait. price, oh, the, the price has Wait. something to do one R with in this. It. Oh my god! No, I it's still not... don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, here's what I'm trying to indicate: <laughs> the price may Rust. have something to Rust. do. Rust. Sorry. Rust. Nope. nope. The 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 price may have something to do with what you have to look for in the word. Oh. oh my god! Four. Eight. Uh, this is called me trying to speed this along by giving you hints. It's... The dungeon master is thoroughly amused. This is why if you did all that right. Four or seven. Oh nope, that's wrong. Uh, 
Archie. <laughs> we got into <laughs> the answer. No, no, no. I know I did mine wrong. I know I did mine wrong. And you did the six wrong. Because six is. I did not do six wrong. Six is gonna be an E. Yep. Yeah, the six would be the E. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you got the uh, 11 correct. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, M. nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it's an M. Urchim! Which what? isn't a word. I'm proud of Mariachi. you. Mariachi! M A E C H R I. Merchy! Nope. Rachel? No. <laughs> the the items may still still help you with the order of things. Oh my god. Damn. Nope, that's wrong. The items themselves, not the order they are on the sheet. <laughs> yes. R. E. Two, three. C. You know, if it were me making this, uh, I would I would probably put this like first I would do the ale cheese pastry, then the brandy ham can and carrots, then the court and lentils to you know, you know, I put them in alphabetical order. I mean that's how <clears> we <throat> do it at, at the Iron Bear. R E C H This is just a lot of information. <laughs> Try to keep track of everything. I, oh. I will admit that this is listed as a hard difficulty. <laughs> Chimera? Uh, hold that looks back to, to you. Right here, you lad. And he, she pulls something out of her pocket and tosses it to you just as she disappears and you reappear next to you. Thank God, because I was I oh, had yeah. R-E-C-H going for my fucking puzzle order. <laughs> And and you see she you see an amethyst rock coming towards you, but as everything disappears and you reappear next to the brazier of the chest, uh, what lands into your hand is a key. Woo! And, uh, open the chest. And I open the, the chest. chest. <laughs> Curve back I the solve key. the puzzle. <laughs> and you solve the puzzle. <laughs> uh, open the chest, and inside is a uh, uh, pillow. And uh, with an amethyst on it. Nice. Pick up the You pick up the amethyst, you hear some snoring. And wakey, wakey. Well, looks like we got them all. Uh, we should probably head Let's back. Let's head back. Yes. As you head out of the maze, uh, you get another rush of, of wind and water. Uh, and you appear in front of the of the same type of court, but it looks a little bit different. Um, instead, you see more humanoid beings. You see a female orc uh, with a nice brass colored skin. Uh, you see a, an elfish male, but with silver colored skin. A human male with a gold colored skin. You see a, a dwarf male with um, a copper skin and uh, a bronze skin and uh, a triton, which is really weird for a triton, um, is uh, uh, standing there. 
And you, you, the Triton sa- says to you, Oh, I see you found them. <laughs> yes. Uh, the puzzles were interesting and challenging. At least. I enjoyed them. They were a lot of fun. I just wish I was better at them. <laughs> and uh, you see uh, see uh, a table with uh, the six colored pillows. Um, yeah, just put them on their appropriate pillows here and we'll wake them up for you. I'll go ahead and take out all the gems and set them on the right pillows. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, they all stand around, take a deep breath, and they breathe on them. It doesn't seem like anything gets gets damaged. You see fire and ice and li- lightning uh, uh, just shock right onto it, onto them. But nothing seems to actually get damaged, and all the energy soaks up into the gems themselves. Uh, and then you see, and kind of like colored smoke just says like the same color of of the gem just kind of like flow out of each of the gems and uh behind uh the uh five humanoid shaped currently humanoid shaped uh, uh celestial worms and you see these great gem dragons um uh come out uh, the amethyst wing says, "Where have we been awakened?" Uh, and uh, the uh, human male, which you're now pretty much by this time, you would ref- think that they're just the great worms, just more in humanoid form. Um, Probably the more. Human, yeah, uh, turns around and says, "Ami, I'm glad you're back." Um, don't worry, we'll get you back to your rest. But, uh, we were hoping you could help us out with something. Something. Oh! And, uh, in a moment, all of them, uh, uh, polymorph themselves into a more humanoid form. I'm not gonna say what races they are, but they're not all the same race. Mainly because we're, I'm trying to wrap up. (laughs) The Amethyst one, uh, turns out to be this big, burly man with kind of a pink hair. Like it, I it, love it. Yeah, and he's got the big pink beard, beard, um, and just kind of gaudy robes. Honestly, I love it. That he is the, the ideal amethyst dragon. <laughs> pink he, dragon form. <laughs> he he walks up to Kriv and Kriv. He's actually about a foot taller than you. Ah, what do we have here? Oh, I remember <laughs> this. Any, 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 any taps your armor? Oh, how is it holding up? Huh? I see you haven't awakened it yet. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it should be any time now. But, but what can I do for you? Uh, well, well sir, Kreeb says, uh, um, um, this is my husband, Kreeb. Um, um, and uh, we're, we're fighting for, for uh, or he's uh, uh, taking care of an issue in regard to Tima and over Toral. Um, and uh, well, you see, uh, uh, he's trying to follow like a similar path that, that I took myself. I'm a clarion, you know, clarion, uh, a cl- cleric barbarian. I call myself a clarion, just kind of, kind of the same thing. <laughs> uh, but he's going to be a palarian, that's that's paladin barbarian. And, and this whole, like, barbarian thing requires, like, it doesn't work well when you have armor. This is... Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Wait a minute. Hold on. Guys, come here. And they get, you can, like, have a little hell. Uh, and then the... Then Abby turns around and, and he goes, We got a great idea! But I'm going to need your armor for a bit. I, I go ahead and wait a sec. Very quick. Okay, yeah, I I take it off. I have no extra clothes. 
I have just my bat, my uh, Harvey's heavy, uh, handy haversack just right in front of me. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, uh, is, is, is laughing while you're while you're doing this and kind of kind of chuckling. And, and and after you get into that position, you're looking like all shocked and stuff. It's he goes. He, he reaches into his uh, his uh, uh, bag of holding uh, and, and pulls uh, uh, some things out. Here, honey, I think these will fit you. And he and it's a common pant. It, it's pants that look a lot like what he wears, and a the chest harness that he wears. But you can tell this is sized to fit you exactly. I like step behind Krebus, like take the toes and kind of step behind him. And, like, he, he, pulls out, <laughs> he pulls out a, a big old uh, a blanket and just kind of like puts it up. <laughs> For modesty. Uh, Thank they, you, honey. <laughs> they take the armor and uh, they start heading off down a hallway, which you didn't didn't see before. Before it wasn't uh, there before. Uh, it was there before. You just didn't see it because of the illusion that the reason dragons had up. Um, and I will figure this out before next session. But they come back and the armor looks exactly the same. <laughs> it actually takes, I, I'm going to say it probably ta it takes about a day. So you're kind of waiting around for a while. Um. Uh, probably spend some time in the lair. <laughs> to, to, yeah, it gets it gets some better clothes. Uh, uh, you and Kribus. No, I don't. Uh, I don't, I don't put on better clothes. clothes. I like these. Like, yeah. like my husband. Uh, yeah. So uh, they come back with the armor, uh, and it uh, looks sh shinier. Um, yeah, it, uh, it things seem to be. It's got some more like platinum. Um, uh, like lining, like the seams, like just the, the things that would like separate the seams and everything are kind of like lined with platinum. Mm -hmm. And it says, it says here, so here's what would happen. And now we decided that since we're not sure if you will end up having this like your entire life or anything. And plus, I'm assuming you're going to be returning it uh, to Iodron and somebody else may wear this. We have determined that uh, giving it abilities based off of uh, what any person's speciality is. So such as being the path of a barbarian. So in the case of that, uh, when you enter into a rage, it will actually withdraw into your skin enhance your constitution and dexterity and uh, uh, make it as if you were not wearing armor even though technically you would be wearing armor but now it's inside your skin so it's like part of you so it's not really actually like wearing armor obviously it will cover everything for modesty sakes and everything um, but but it will be very much as if you were not wearing armor at all. Ooh. So, mechanically I... speaking, if you use a barbarian, whenever you use a barbarian rage, the armor will, will morph. morph into your skin and basically become a part of you and bolster your constitution and dexterity store. I will be figuring out the specifics on how that works. Basically, it will allow you to basically become your ar unarmored defense so that you would have the same AC as if you were not using the rage and just wearing the armor. Okay. That's awesome. It also I... it also boosts your uh, boosts your constitution and dexterity. So it will also affect those scores. Cool. That's and awesome. I I I can't thank you enough for this. Yeah. Also, there will be an ability in regards to Paladin, which uh, the Dragon Master has not figured out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I. 
You have blessed us so much. I cannot thank you enough. This will do greatly for us in our battle against Tiamat. You're, you're very welcome. Yeah, we do. We definitely do not want her coming. I mean, she can't come from the outer plains because of the veil here, so we're pretty safe. Safe. Eberron uh, looks at him and says, I wouldn't be so sure. Hmm. If he comes to Toral, let's say that she should, couldn't get from Toral to here. And that's where we'll end the session. Oh my. Ooh. This is fun. Exciting. I, I wasn't expecting and it to be about changing my armor. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I wanted I'm not you to continue having the armor, but be able to yeah. still still use the rage. So, if you're not using a rage, it's the same it's just regular same armor. Heavy it armor. will it will of course have a plus two bonus instead of a plus one because uh, when you when you connect back up to it, you will notice that it has awakened. But you will not get this until you after kill after you kill a drake. That makes sense because I have to take my level in Barbarian before yeah. I. Yeah. So it will awaken upon killing the dragon. <laughs> yeah. Or when you take a long rest after you kill a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Which will probably be during the trip back to Waterdeep before you then go kill a dwarf. You also have the worm speaker to look at. The, the yeah. In the white. He's a dwarf. Yes. I didn't know he was a dwarf. I like how we were just, <laughs> it's just crabs gidget, rab gidget, search, <laughs> Eric Che, Eric Kim, Eric Kim, Rack Kim. <laughs> <laughs> we tried so like, hard. <laughs> honestly, this is like, I know like you're following the module, so probably wouldn't have too much puzzles, but I like these. Yeah. And I'm, again, I am super jealous of Krebus. He's, right? He's, 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 he's an Iodranian like dragonborn now. It's true. It's canon. What? It's, it's canon for this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're only talking about this game. He's not quite I Iodranian dragon. He still has to guard those wings. Yeah, but he's on that path. He's on the path that I want for Kriv. <laughs> Who knows what the future has. And Cyrus right. is a dragon. A mini dragon, but a dra Still a dragon. Yay! Still needs to work on that uh, frost breath. Mm -hmm. Can I practice my frost breath so it can get stronger? Maybe that would be <laughs> cool. I I think when uh, well when you gain uh, I will say this when you gain a level you gain you no wait a minute when you would <laughs> when a dragonborn would normally gain an extra die for for the uh, breath you would also gain an extra die for the breath. So, I don't remember what those uh, levels are. You can reference Dragonborns uh, or Curve Control. Um, I believe it's 5, 11, 16. Uh, it's 6, 11, 16. I was close. Mm. Yeah. So, at uh, 11th uh, level, you'll get it to 4d4. Yeah, you just want d4s, right? Yeah, I uh, believe so. D4. Yeah. Just because you're small. You're smaller than a wormling. So. Yeah. So I, I wanted it to, to nerf. I didn't want to overdo it. Although, well, who it's... knows? Maybe, 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 maybe part of the, the upgrade will also be an upgrade in the die. So it equals a Dragonborn's Frost Breath. I mean, you do get the recharge ability versus the. Yeah. Short Long rest. Ability. Short Long, rest. Short rest, I think it is for a Dragonborn. Short rest, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so you in the combat you can literally use it multiple times if you get the proper dice roll. Yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, fun game. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I, and I was also glad that we were able to actually do something. Right? And, like, not miss a session. Yeah, because yes, I it wasn't kill- <laughs> it. It wasn't killing a dragon that I was hoping for, but hey. Yeah, I, I was also continuing to mull. I, I've been, like, what's been going through in my mind is um, how to... Because I don't want to ruin somebody's fun and force somebody not to do something that I want to do. So this is my way of adapting to that. So normally, I, it, it, if this would it would have awakened and we've gotten something else, you know, still... Armor, yeah, or magic armor increase as well as probably in another ability, but um, this way I could technically do that kind of sort of, uh, but also allow it to allow you to use features that you wouldn't be able that, to allow to. Yeah, so that's that's my thing. Yeah. Anyways, I'm assuming you guys are, are uh, uh, Dustin, you need to go to bed. <laughs> I am. Uh, I, I gotta. I gotta wait a little bit because we ate late. So otherwise, oh. I'm gonna be. Okay. Well, I'm gonna so. end the stream in any case. Bye, folks.